Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and we're going to take a look at the OzoBot. This is a fun learning tool uh, for kids or adults, but um, you know, basically what these are is a teaching tool. And what you could do with these is basically learn the type of logic that you need to learn how to code. Um, and this isn't the first of this type of robot. There are a lot of learning bots like this out there, um, but this is the first one that I've seen where you can program them using like a uh, computer or you could program them just using paper and a pen. So we're gonna take a look at these and see how easy they are to use. So I bought the, the dual bot set. Um, they come as individual bots and then you can buy a two pack of bots as well. And then they also have starter kits that come with a lot more stuff. Um, so let's take a look what we've got. We've got two little bots and you charge these using the included uh, micro USB cable. So let's push down here on this little tab and get our bot out. So there's our little bot. Let's go ahead and move this over and take a look at what else we have inside. So we've got kind of a quick start guide here that just has our information, including a registration card and kind of gives us, um, you know, just the basics on how to use these bots. Uh, so basically the way this works, and I, I watched a little video online, so um, I kind of have a, a basic idea. Uh, you draw a path and you use a black marker to draw a path and then you use the other colors the red green and blue colors to um, To kind of put little code modifiers in place and depending on how you do those markings on the page They're going to react differently and so we, these are called ozo codes and they're all laid out right here um, like you you can make it go slow motion. You can make it go turbo fast uh, there's one um, that makes them spin around in circles and so there's lots of different um, codes that you can, can put into play. And so you can do that by basically drawing them out, or you can use an iPad or an Android tablet or a web browser and program them to do all of these things without a path. So you basically can create a, a path for it and uh, program it to do certain things and then just let it go and do it. You don't actually have to have uh, the the paper. But for me, I have young kids. This is supposed to be for ages eight and up. My oldest is six years old and I have a four year old. And I think that they're going to get a kick out of being able to draw on paper and actually do this. And then after they kind of have that figured out, we'll move up towards using the tablet or whatnot to program them and learning some more of that logic uh, that comes along with programming these little bots. All right, so let's take a look at what else we have. We've got our little quick start guide. Um, and then we also have a, uh, a, little, a little card here that folds out and there are little tracks. And so I could basically turn on my bot and set it down and it's gonna follow the tracks around. Um, so let's go ahead and try that first. Uh, there's a little button on the side of the bot and you just press down the little button and uh, your OzoBot powers up. And then you basically set it down um, on it and it's going to follow along and it's going to do whatever the path uh, The colors of the path tell it to do So now it's following along around and uh, just kind of using these different little color colors here to Move and do different things. So this one obviously is kind of just sending it in a little path Let's go ahead and put him on this path and see what happens. It only goes back around that way Put them over here, see what happens. And he sure likes to go that way. So basically what's happening is on the bottom of the bot there is uh, there is something reading the colors and that's relaying to the bot what to do. So depending on the codes and the order of them all, um, the bot will react in different ways. So, all right, so we've, we've done that. We've played with what comes with it and then you've got some stickers and uh, I believe there's also some ways to kind of customize your bot. Um, so yeah, in here there's actual covers that you can put over your bot, kind of protective covers and then um, you can uh, you know, put stickers and kind of decorate them and do whatever you want. Um, I also saw that there are two Marvel characters, uh, little attachments that you're able to put 
on them um, and turn your Ozobots into characters, uh, which definitely can make it a lot of fun. So um, let's get out the pins though and try drawing our own little path and put in uh, a couple of Ozo codes and see what we can make happen. So you need a pin, you don't have to buy their pins, but you need a pin that has a pretty fat tip on it. And so these pins here definitely are designed to make it easy, uh, but you can use you know, the, the big kind of thick Crayola marker pins and definitely um, you, know, you just need the colors. It, doesn't, it isn't a special ink or anything like that. So let's go ahead and draw a path. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a path and we'll start to curve around. And then I need to make sure that I use a code that actually does something, because you can't just make them up. Uh, you have to actually use some of the codes that um, are programmed in. So if we do a blue, black, blue, then it will go fast. So let's do a blue and then a black. and then a blue again. And then we'll go back to black. We'll make a hard right turn. So I'm not, I'm not getting too fancy here, definitely. And then uh, let's look for, where was the tornado, is red, black, blue, green. So we'll go red. black, blue, green. And then we'll go back to black. And then we'll just bring them back home. All right, so we'll make sure that that's dried. We'll just hit the button on the side of our little bot here, set them down, and see what happens. Oh, he's going a lot faster. Ah, oh, he didn't do my uh, tornado. Maybe because I've got some little gaps here, I didn't do it right. So the tornado was red, black, blue, and green. And uh, obviously that didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. So let's just make sure that these colors are all connected. Let's see if we can make it happen again. Ah, it didn't do it. So anyways, I need to practice here with my coloring. I probably have something done incorrect or, um, uh, or just haven't done this right. So a little bit more learning left to do probably before I go and introduce this to my kids. But what's cool, especially if you went and got a two pack of these, is that you could create a course and put codes in. Like I, you know, I've got my two boys at home and I could say, okay, you guys create your course and we're gonna do a race and you have to use you know, five Ozo codes in your course, and then whoever finishes first, you know, will turn it into a race. Um, and so they're learning logic, they're learning how to lay out codes, they're learning what those codes mean. And then of course, when you take it to uh, using like their, their iPad app or their Android app, um, or you go online using their website, you're actually able to kind of put little blockchains of, of code into place that say, do this, do that, or if this happens, then do that, and program them so that they can produce um, you know, whatever movement that you've programmed them to do, and then you don't actually have to have the paper to do that. Um, and what's neat about these is that you don't have to plug them in with the cable to sync whatever you're gonna program them with. You simply put them up to the screen and it flashes a bunch of colors and programs them that way. So you don't actually have to pair them to anything, Bluetooth or cables or any of that stuff. Um, you just simply hold it up and hit program and then it shoots over all the instructions and then it's ready to go, which I thought was actually pretty neat. So I'm gonna spend some more time with these, of course, and um, you know, if you wanna follow along, head on over to our Instagram, uh, State of Tech, at State of Tech on Instagram. We'll be posting some photos and video clips uh, of, of some of the fun of using these Ozobots if you're interested in kind of seeing you know, what we're able to do with them and as I introduce them to my kids. So that's gonna do it for our video today with Ozobot. Uh, links are in the description below. These are available on Amazon. Um, you know, Even if you order them from their website, it's gonna come from Amazon. So check out the links in the description below and, uh, and you can see the pricing and all the different options 
for the fun Ozobot stuff that is available. If you have any questions, uh, ask them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to click on the subscribe button so you get notified. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.